Hello guys, Colin here. One thing that you'll find on pretty much every single valve powered guitar amplifier is a standby switch. It's right there, next to the power switch. Conventional wisdom handed down from guitarist to guitarist is when you switch on your amplifier, you engage the power switch, wait a couple of minutes for the valves to heat up, and then switch on your standby. When you're switching off, you do the opposite. You switch the standby off, give it a couple of minutes and let the valve sit, and then power off your amp. We're told this is for the good of our valves, and that not religiously following this routine every single time will be detrimental to our amplifiers. Except, that's all a complete lie. Powering on and off your amplifier with just the power switch won't have any negative impact on your amp or valve life. And similarly, using the standby switch method won't extend your valve life either. If you look at any other modern valve amplifiers like those used in Hi-Fi for example, they don't feature a standby switch. Nor did any of the old equipment that used to use valves, from televisions to radios, there wasn't a standby switch in sight. That's because you don't actually need a standby switch. They're not there to protect your amp or your valves and they were only included on the early Fender amplifiers for an amp servicing convenience. And then everyone else just copied Fender. The only thing it does is give you a convenient way to mute your amplifier while keeping the valves hot. But you could just as easily do that by turning down the volume control, which is arguably a better method than using the switch. So if there's no real benefit in having a standby switch, then why does every guitar amp persist in having one? Well, it comes down to user expectation. There are many amp manufacturers who would love to get rid of the standby switch, and some have even released amplifiers without one. And immediately they've been inundated with phone calls and emails and letters from concerned customers screaming, where's my standby switch? Will my amp break? It costs these companies less to put an unnecessary switch on every amplifier they make than it does to answer your phone calls and emails. But Colin, what about cathode stripping? Well, I'm glad you brought that up, Barry. Cathode stripping is a phenomenon that occurs when the plate voltage is applied to the valve before it's fully heated up. This results in ions bombarding the cathode, stripping away its coating and leaving you with a broken valve. Now this is a real concern for exceptionally expensive, exceptionally high voltage valves. Ones running at above a kilovolt are susceptible. Comparatively, the valves in your guitar amplifiers are much cheaper and running a much lower voltage, quite often below 500 volts. So there's absolutely no risk of you stripping the cathode of your 6L6 power tubes by not adhering to the myth of the standby switch. Honestly, the best thing you can do is leave your standby switch on all the time, or at least have your power switch and standby switch switch on and off at the same time. There's also no benefit to leaving your amp on standby while you take a short break. Just turn down the volume pot. It's a much better solution as your switch will wear out much faster than your pot will. So don't get all hung up on your standby switch. If it wasn't there, you really wouldn't miss it, and it's not an integral safety feature to your amplifier. It's only there because we freak out when it isn't. And if you like the knowledge that you found in this video, then why not consider subscribing and you can see all the new content I'm bringing out that way. Patreon's also there for exclusive secret stuff and there's other videos you probably haven't seen. Anyway, that's all for just now. So if you guys want to keep it loud, I will see you later.